Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart. Today I'm joined by Johnny Detroit at Johnny Detroit on Twitter and Bobby Liggs at Bobby the Bookie. You guys, we're going to talk about something that nobody ever talks about. Betting with a local guy. Everybody comes to Vegas, they bet in the sports. If you get an app, if you live here, great. You can bet offshore. 90% of people in the United States are betting with a local guy. So we're going to go over some do's and don'ts, what you should and what you shouldn't do. Bobby, I'm going to start with you. Number one thing you should not do with betting with your local bookie. I always thought people that play the figure game. You know, you say you settled a dime with your guy and you get up, you know, $1,050. Now maybe you take the Sunday night game off where you only bet 40 bucks where you normally bet 200 because you want to guarantee that payday on Monday. So you're kind of minimizing your wins. That same person, the next week, they're down 1,800 going on the Sunday night game, but now they want to bet 900 to get under that number. And if they lose, now they, they're paying out 27. They're collecting you know, 11 when they win. It's a big difference. I made a lot of money over the years because of people like that. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> Johnny, oh, Scott. oh man, what do you have to add to that? Um, for me is know your value. And what I mean by that is a lot of people don't understand the options that the guys running the sites with the paper heads they have in the back end. I've seen agent back ends for all the sites. They can give you sharp, they can give you square, they can give you reduced juice, they could give you 20 cent, dine lines, whatever. So let me cut you off just for the basic guys. So I've seen sites where you're paying minus 115, minus 120, you're getting the stale numbers. Is that what you're referring to? I'm saying is as the player, there's so many places to play now. To not at least go to your guy and say, why do I got 20 cent baseball lines? I want a 10% rebate. You know, I, why are you giving me these like, sh you know, square lines all the time? Or, you know, why is this? Is they have the ability to change all that. So to know the value as a player to go and say, hey, I want a rebate on my losses. Or I sent you three friends, I want to kick back on that. I'm not playing 20 cent baseball lines. I know you can give me a dime line. Know your value as a player and shop yourself. I mean, because you are an asset to a bookmaker on how they make their money. That's good stuff. I mean, I've had so many buddies, I've looked at their stuff and I'm like, what are you doing? You know, you're right, you're, you can even get nickel lines if you, if you get the right guy and just say, hey, you know what? I know I'm playing you know, $500,000 a game, make it worth my while to go through you versus someone else. I used to have a, a group that played with me after me and Bob split our little partnership and I was doing stuff with Joe Monroe. So we always have to compete with each other and I had a group that he said I wanted minus 105 juice, which you know, it's cutting your hole in half, it's horrible to do, but his guys were losers and they were good. So he knew the value of his package to shop around to get the best deal that he could. And at that time, I really had no choice but to see us because they were D-Gen losers and I didn't want them playing with Bob. <laughs> I didn't want them playing Fair with enough. Bob. Fair <laughs> Bob, what do you have to add to that? Well, another thing is um, know your bookmaker. You know, not all bookmakers have unlimited money. Most of them don't. And, you know, I've been stiffed by bookies and, you know, it's no good if you get stiffed. You know, make sure if you're betting with a guy that's, you know, a bartender at Applebee's, he might not be able to pay you if you're betting dimes. You know, I used to trap baseball games back in the 90s. I beat a guy out of 18,000, lost 14,000 on the other side, or, you know, I didn't get paid the 18, I still had to pay the 14. It's a bad spot to be in, so just, just know who you're, who, you're, who you're playing with. Yeah, that's a pretty gross spot to be in. Johnny, yeah. I'll let you wrap this one up. Any other tips, do's and don'ts for betting with your bookie? Well, I'm gonna flip it. The first one was the players on how to get the best value that you can. Now, this one is they need to listen to, and this is not just with locals. This is offshore, because I know offshore guys or wherever. If you log in and you see Alabama plus seven for some shitball team and you think you're slick betting it, they're going to catch it and they're going to cancel your bet. But what that really does is the next time you have a legitimate beef, they're going to look at you that you're a shady person or you're going to have a request and they're going to flag that. I've seen, you know, back in the day with the, the offshores, with the post up sites even, they would put notes in the account like guys betting bad lines or, you know, post betting beacon trying to like and they always catch it and they cut it off so like do yourself the favor they're never going to pay you on it anyways all you're doing is you're making yourself look like a like a douche and you're cutting off any chance you have for legitimate beef if you go to them because you're labeled that way all right good stuff hope you guys took some notes there as always get 25 dollars in wager bucks automatically credited to your account after your first purchase at wager talk